Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen. Today on our reviews, we will be touching Hidamari Sketch Honeycomb. This is uh, the fourth season in this series. Um, there are also there's also a uh, special uh, a special series involved, and the series actually involves. Uh, a number of high school girls uh, let's see I'd say four to six depending on the era you you take a look at and they're attending this special private art school and the series is slice of life it goes over various aspects of their time in the art school and just everyday life and, and the life of a high school girl <laughs> I guess is the uh, essential. So what's good about this series? Well, there's a lot good about this series. I wouldn't actually get to see, well, okay, I might get to season four of a series if it's not good, uh, if I liked at least one, but I usually have to like at least one of the series in order to get to that point. Um, season four actually had some good things to it. And the series usually likes to jump around a lot. That's one of the hallmarks of the series, is you might start uh, when you might come in one episode and it's fall of the very first year that the uh, main character, you know, which is uh, this one right here, um, goes to school. Uh, and, you know, it's just those two plus the um, two at the very back. Or you might... Uh, fast forward to the next year uh, then you might go back to year one again and uh, you're kind of left in that confusion but this time they actually are pretty straightforward about the time there's very little uh, that there there's very little time skip involved in this I was um, actually quite impressed I like how they have this little notebook looking thing on this that Sentai actually puts out and they all go very well together. So let's talk a little bit about what I thought overall. As I said, I think that the way that they did the timing of this, the way it actually went straight forward, which was a different take than the series normally goes, that lessened the confusion that you normally get from it. Um, and I actually really do like the personalities of the characters. They go well together. This series actually has held up pretty well over four seasons. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it. It feels like more of that just uh, long-running straight show. You're you're sitting there and you're just watching them go through their day-to-day -day lives. And so long as the ideas remain fresh, the series could continue. And the ideas, for the most part, have remained fresh and enjoyable. Little things to talk about, the interactions with the characters, the teachers. This is uh, very well done. The art style is, to me, very appropriate for something that covers an art school. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with it, to tell you the truth. I have really enjoyed the art style. It's quite warm and inviting. Uh, it is very, it's very nice to actually just sit back and watch a couple episodes. Very calming effect. You can pick it up from pretty much anywhere, and as long as you know the basics of what's going on, you can pretty much just enjoy an episode from any point in the series. So the voice acting, again, it's only in the Japanese, no dub, eh. but uh, I do I do enjoy the the voice acting is done well, and one of the most striking features of this series are the openers and enders. Um, they're usually quite solid, and the opener in this one actually continues to follow that that pattern. It's very energetic, very peppy, gets you into a good mood, and allows you to move into the series and make it very enjoyable. Now, the ender, the ender's okay. Um, nothing to write home about, but enjoyable to listen to now and again. I never skip the opener. After a while, I end up skipping the ender. <laughs> so, what are the detracting points? Well, this was uh, this was adapted from more of an amake, like at a just like these three or four panel comics that are kind of gag comics. Um, 
that they do you have to really see them to understand but sort of like how you get your comics in like a, a paper like the comic strips uh, like with the peanuts where it's like four panels and they've got their they got to tell their story with their gag at the end in those four panels so they're adapting this to an actual manga setting uh, Kaon also did that uh, though Kaon I think actually felt less like it was adapted from that matter of fact uh, if you didn't realize it or if you hadn't been familiar with the manga you probably would not have realized that it came from that four panel type type uh, origin but this one you can definitely tell that and this leads for very kind of jerky uh, stories and this is not so bad in some aspects but the fact that it is only available in sub means that you're kind of playing catch up a lot of the time and you can easily find yourself confused this is why the aspect of the other three seasons of just switching the time around leaves you kind of disoriented and gives it more difficulty in finding your feet I don't think that this aspect would be as bad if you had a fluent knowledge of Japanese and could follow it, or if they ever did an English dub, I think that could correct that in a way. But I still feel that that slight confusion, because that slight confusion is a, so much of a part of the series, it would still be there, and that does lend it to be a little bit less enjoyable in the end. But with all of that being said, this actually is quite an enjoyable series. I have uh, I have thoroughly liked it throughout. It's taken me some time to get to this last one. I did pick it up um, on a Right Stuff sale. I think either winter of 2016 or winter of 2015. I can't remember which, but uh, it came down finally to a uh, like a ten dollar range and I said I was going to go ahead and get it complete my collection it's one that I can actually pick up or leave if I feel like it not one I want to rush out to get but one I definitely want to eventually see when I feel up to it so with that I would actually give this a seven out of ten the cats don't seem to uh, agree with that <laughs> but I will post a link they really don't like that. But uh, I will post a description in the with the link to the product below. And uh, of course, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. So thank you very much, and I will see you on the next one.